Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about Stephen King's It. Uh, it is my favorite book by Stephen King and it's one of my favorite books in general. Uh, I first read uh, It when I was 12 years old and I really loved it because uh, it has a lot of elements uh, that a 12 year old would really like. Uh, first of all, it's scary and it has young kids being the main characters and also it has a lot of uh, friendship elements who are very important in the plot of the book and it's are very important for a 12 year old so let me talk to you a little bit about the characters the first character in the book is bill bill has a brother george who dies uh, early on in the story and is the reason the whole Thing starts. Uh, Bill stutters, so he gets teased a lot at school, and a lot of people don't like talking to him because they feel uh, they feel quite awkward when they talk to him. Uh, but also, uh, Bill is very creative, and he makes a lot of stories, and he has uh, the best ideas about things to do. That's why children like. Uh, that's why the losers like to be with him. That's why he's the the leader of the losers. Uh, because he always knows what to do, like what game to play, where to go, what to do, and that's very appealing to them. Um, in the book, you can see that Stephen King really relates to Bill. Obviously, he does because uh, Bill grows up to be uh, a writer like Stephen King, and you see Stephen King's process, and um, you see how how he writes. Uh, these little secrets, these little uh, tips go, um, you can see them through Bill. Uh, and I find that bit to be very interesting. Um, also, a thing that I find, I find very, very interesting also is uh, how Stephen King criticizes himself by saying that uh, when Bill was older and he was at uni, um, his, uh, his teacher would be very unhappy with him because he would just write a story and the story would not have like a, a deeper meaning, would not be socially, wouldn't try to fix the world. And um, Stephen King says through Bill that sometimes a story is just a story, it doesn't have to be anything else. Sometimes a story is just entertaining and that is fine and I agree with that. So another character of uh, the book is Eddie. Eddie is a frail boy. His mom is suffocating him in any way imaginable. Uh, she doesn't let him do anything. And basically he's a hypochondriac. Uh, everything is making him sick. He cannot go play with his friends. He cannot go out later when it's late. Basically he cannot do anything. His mom won't allow him to do anything. And that has a toll in his life. In a way it makes him weaker but he does have his own special powers and he really loves Bill as a friend. He also sees him a little bit like a big brother because he hasn't had a big brother and he's alone and he doesn't have a father. So he's a bit of a father figure, a big, big brother figure. It's, it's really nice. Uh, another character of the book is Rich, Richie Tozier and, or Trashmouth Richie and uh, I like him, he's very funny, however he has a mouth he cannot control, he always swears and makes his voices and uh, he gets in trouble because he cannot keep his mouth shut when he really really should and uh, it's quite funny. And a fourth character is uh, Stan, Stan the man. Stan is actually my second favorite character of the group, of the seven. Uh, Stan, is, Stan is very fastidious and he likes everything to be in order and everything clean and I really like that. And these are the four uh, main characters at the beginning uh, that um, compose the group. But as the story progresses we also meet Ben. Ben um, is introduced uh, in the story and Ben's a fat kid and he really likes reading. Ben actually is my favorite character. He likes reading and he's fat like me and uh, he's very, very sweet. 
and he has a lot of love in him but a lot of people cannot see that because the only thing that they see is that he's fat but that's not all he is he's much more than that then we have Beverly Beverly is a beautiful girl she's a smart girl she's a tomboy and she likes to play with other boys because the girls don't like her the girls do not like her because even though they're more privileged than her uh, she's much prettier without any effort and a lot of boys take notice of that and they really really like her um, The last character that we meet is Mike Mike um, Is introduced to the group uh, after the apocalyptic rock fight Which is a very important point in, in, in the book. It's when the whole group comes together and they can actually start fighting the evil uh, entity in the book which is called it uh, so who is it it is an extraterrestrial ancient entity and uh, it feeds on fear and human flesh especially children's flesh um, it uses fear as seasoning to make flesh tastier that's what it says in the book uh, Moving on, the children uh, come to face it and they believe they kill it. However, it is not dead and it pretends to be dead. So they think it died and leave it alone. But Bill says, you know what? We killed it, but it may not be dead. So let's make a promise. Let's make a promise that if it comes back, we'll come back and finish it off. So uh, with that in mind, we go forward 27 years and we see them adults returning to uh, their home uh, hometown uh, returning from their adult lives from their successful adult lives coming back to Derry after receiving a phone call from Mike and facing it again and this time they are successful they kill it and um, they prevail why is it such a scary story of course it's a scary story it's written by Stephen King the king of horror we know that we don't have to say to question it however why why is it so scary so yes of course it's a monster that eats children that can take any form it's named it because it doesn't have a form it can be any form if I'm scared of clowns I can see it as a clown if I'm scared of werewolves I'll see it as a werewolf um, it can take any form that terrifies us because as I said uh, fear gives it a lot of power uh, and it feeds on fear but what is most terrifying I mean the most terrifying thing about it what makes it for me so terrifying is that their actual lives are scarier than it because they can and they do and they try to escape it but they cannot escape their daily lives because in a day on a daily basis they get abused at home um, or they get abused at school there's domestic violence especially Beverly she has a very weird father like Eddie her his mom is completely crazy it's un uncontrolling Bill after his brother died they, his parents it's like they don't really care about him anymore they do have another child who's alive but they don't really care they only care about their dead kid um, uh, Mike faces a lot of racism I mean he's He's black and he faces a lot of racism. Stan is Jewish and he's facing discrimination also. Richie cannot control his mouth, so uh, he's being beaten by this crazy uh, Bowers guy. He's like, it's it's a nightmare. It's a daily nightmare. It constantly, every day, every day, they have to fight this nightmare and and, and prevail. So yes, this is something they cannot escape unfortunately so it's, it's scarier than a monster who wants to eat you because you can protect yourself against a monster but you cannot protect yourself against your parents against your classmates it's much more difficult to stand up to your parents you can try to kill a monster like you have seen in movies like you, you can try to kill it but you cannot kill your parents you cannot escape your parents that's why I think it's a very 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 terrifying book and I would definitely recommend it to people who love reading, to people who love stories, because it's a, it's a great story. So uh, now I would like to rate the book. I would like to give it five golden plumes, because as I said, it may not be 
it may not be a classical masterpiece it may not change the world or change your life but it's a very entertaining story with very very good elements inside that will stay with you at least they have stayed with me and uh, I really think that anybody who reads it will really enjoy it so thank you for listening and being with me see you next time